Okay, question number seven from M1, October 2018, International A-Level. Um, we have a question about connected particles. We have a truck of mass 1,600 kilograms is towing a car of mass 960 kilograms along a straight horizontal road. Okay, whoops. Let's say that this is our straight horizontal road. Okay, and you got a truck, just draw it as a box, a truck of mass 1,600 kilograms, that's your truck, and you've got a car of 960 kilograms, let's say that's the car, make it a bit smaller, so there you have 1,600 kilograms, 1,600 kilograms, that's the mass of the truck, and 960 kilograms is the mass of the car. They're connected by a light, rigid tow bar. Okay. There's your light, rigid tow bar. And what else do we know? Um, the tow bar is horizontal and parallel to the direction of motion. So uh, the truck and the car experience constant resistances to motion of 640 newtons. Okay, so this has a resistance of 640 newtons. Okay, um, let's say they're moving this in this direction. Let's say they're moving in this direction. So this has a constant force of 640 newtons resistance, and for the car, it's R newtons, respectively. So the R is the car is R newtons. It's resistance to motion. Okay. Make that a bit clearer because that's 640 newtons. Okay, um, the truck's engine produces a constant driving force, so it's going to be, of course, that that direction of 2,100 newtons. 2,100 newtons. The magnitude of the acceleration of the car and the truck is 0 0.4 meters per second squared. Okay, so we have to find uh, or show that R is equal to 436. So what we need to do here is to take the system as a whole. Look at the whole system. Okay, now, in this situation, you've got this tow bar. Now, the tow bar will be the truck is pulling the car. So the car is being pulled along. And, of course, because um, it's being pulled along, it's also pulling back on the truck. So you've got a tension in the tow bar. But if we look at the system as a whole... We don't need to worry about these tensions. We're taking as this one body moving in a single direction. We can take it as one whole uh, big particle. And we can only consider the resistance to motions and the driving force. So if we take it as one big system, we can think of it like this almost. You can think of it as like a whole block. Oops, a whole block like this. Okay, where you have the total mass... Okay, both of them together, which is going to be 960 plus 1,600. So you have 960 plus 1,600. That should be 960. Okay, which gives you 2,560. So that's 2,560 kilograms is like the whole system. And you've got your driving force, which is 2,100 this way. 2,100 newtons this way, and you got your total resistance to motion, which is going to be in this direction. It's going to be your R plus your 640 newtons, and you got the acceleration of the whole system is 0 0.4 meters per second squared. So we can take it as a whole system like this, and therefore you can set up your equation F equals m a, F equals m a taking right as positive. We can say that. 2100 minus r and minus 640 is equal to 2560 m times 0 0.4 ma that's the resultant force f equals ma so we're going to have 2100 minus 640 so 2100 minus 640 that gives us one for the 1000 460 minus R is equal to 2,560 times 0 
which gives you 1024. So therefore, R is equal to uh, 1460 minus 1024. So R will be, let's see what it gives us. So 1460 minus the answer, 436. So R is 436, which is exactly what we had to show. Show the R equals 436. Okay. All right. So that is the value of R. So 436 newtons is the uh, resistance offered by the car. Okay. That's what A is asking for. Then it says find the tension in the tow bar. So we've got to find the tension in the tow bar. So now when we're finding the tension in the tow bar, what we've got to do is consider just one of the of the of the um, parts of the system all right so if i consider just the car alone nothing else i'm going to choose a car because um well i could choose both actually yeah we know r is uh, 436 they told us it anyway so it's not something that uh, you know we've calculated and we're not sure if the right answer we've calculated but we know it's the right answer they gave it to us so using the car would be better because there's less forces acting on the car there's one two three forces acting on the truck there's two forces acting on the car whichever one we choose and we do the right thing we'll get the same answer but i like to make life a bit easier so if we consider just the car consider the car only okay the car only all right if we consider the car only what you got is, is a situation where you've got something like this i'll just draw it again here so it's a bit clearer for us so you've got your your car and you've got the tension in the tow tow rope this way and you got your resistance to motion this way okay so the car has a mass of 960 kilograms you've got the tension which we have to calculate we have the resistance to motion which you know is 436 newtons and the whole system is accelerating at 0 0.4 meters per second squared so that means every part of it must be accelerating by the same amount because they, they are connected by a light inextensible tow bar a light rigid tow bar okay so now again if we take this as positive because it's going in this direction according to our diagram we have t minus 436 equals 960 times acceleration 0 0.4 that's using f equals ma the resultant force equals mass times acceleration so t is going to be uh, 960 times 0 0.4 which is 384 plus 436. So T is going to be 384 plus 436, which gives us 820 newtons. That's the tension in the tow bar. Okay, that's part B. And then part C, it says, the two vehicles come to a hill inclined at an angle alpha to the horizontal where sine alpha is 1 over 15 the truck and the car move down a line of greater slope of the hill so it's, it's come up to a hill and they're going down the hill they're going down the hill okay the hill is inclined of an alpha an angle alpha to the horizontal okay um the truck's engine produces a constant driving force of magnitude 2100 still. The magnitudes of the resistance of the, on the truck and the car are 640 and 436 respectively. Okay, find the magnitude of the acceleration of the truck and the car as they move down the hill. Okay, so now um, we're going to take this as one system because we're only dealing a bit with, um, just take it as one whole block, all right, just as we did before because we're dealing with the thing as a whole. We don't worry about the tension in the tow bar here okay so i'm going to take the whole system as one block so i'll just draw it like that okay so it's going down the hill now okay so your total mass you have now the component of the weight is going to also come into play here so you've got the total mass 
is the mass of both of them together, which was 2560 kilograms. So it's 2560 kilograms. So here you have 2560 60 kg. So this is 2560 G. That's the weight acting down. You've got the driving force, which is still the same, 2100. And the total resistance to the motion, the total resistance to the motion is 640 plus uh, 436. That's going to be 1076, I think. 640 plus 436, 1,076. That's 1,076 is the resistance to motion, this direction. Okay, now we have an additional force. Now, there's no line of... The hill with turbo parallel. Okay, so the resistance to motion on the truck and the... Okay, so they haven't given us a friction, but maybe that's incorporated here. They don't mention any friction, so we don't have to worry about the reaction force. But there is a reaction force in case you want to just draw it in there, although we don't need it here because there's no friction involved that we have to calculate. But what there also is, is the, mag is the component of the weight acting down and perpendicular to the slope. Okay, now down the slope, is going to be mg, which is going to be 2560 times g times the sine of alpha. And here you have 2560g times the cosine of alpha. But we're, what we're worried about is this one only. So now, if we use f equals ma, taking this side as positive, we've got um, 2100 plus 2560g sine alpha. Okay, minus the total resistance to motion, which is 1,706, is equal to the total mass, which is 2560, times acceleration, which we have to find. Okay, that's what we have to find, the new acceleration. Okay, that's what we're trying to find, the new acceleration. Of course, it's different from before because there's a new situation here. It's going down a hill, so the weight of the truck is also aiding its movement down. So acceleration is also going to be greater. So they told us in the question that sine of alpha, the sine of alpha is 1 over 15. They told us that in the question. So we can just put all these values in. So 2100 plus 2560 times 9.8 times 1 over 15 minus 1076 is equal to 2560A. So let's calculate all of these things here. We're going to have um, 2100 plus um, 2560 times 9.8 uh, divided by 15. Okay, just to make it clear, this is separate from that. Okay, and then you're going to take away from that 1,076. And that gives us 2,969. Let's give, leave it over this. 40448 over 15. 4404. Where is it gone? 448 over 15 equals 2,560A. So you're going to have this divided by 2560. So this divided by 2560. And that gives you acceleration as 1.05. So it's, you get 79 over 75. So A equals 79 over 75, which if you round it to either 2SF or 3SF, because we had to use G in this question, so you can round it to 1.1 or 1.05 if you want. So, so oops. So the acceleration is either 1.1 or 1.05 meters per second squared. Either of those are acceptable. You can even leave it like this, I guess. And there we have the answer for that question.